We are gonna install a floor so you don't get a stick in our nuggets. We're gonna fix the brakes. Well, there ain't no fixing. We're gonna install brakes. <laughs> and then go to one the pedal on the throttle. Four engines, one pedal. Uh, we just wiped the thing down so it's ready to paint because it was still totally filthy after we washed it off with the hose. But anyway, we were going to run to the off supply store and grab a huge whiteboard because we've been wanting a whiteboard for a long time. And today I'm just saying, screw it, let's go buy a giant whiteboard. And we're also looking for some metal for our floor. What if we made the floor out of whiteboard? We didn't get anything done tomorrow. We just yeah, ran around. And, not tomorrow. Yeah. We didn't get anything done yesterday. We just ran around and grabbed parts. And then Taylor came over and we just decided to hang out with him. Just played with Taylor. Yeah. No. <laughs> Major improvement to the shop here. Big old, big old whiteboard. We got it. It'll be fine up in the corner. And we got our agenda for the day. So let's show them what we're doing for floor. What we got here is a toolbox drawer. And many of y'all are going to be like, why are you going to cut up a toolbox drawer? A really nice toolbox drawer. Nothing wrong with it. Never been used. <laughs> How much does that tool drawer cost, man? Nada. Zero. Zilch. It's not stolen. It's not stolen. To him. Yes. It had some imperfections in the, what is this? The powder coating. A customer complained about it. Just, just this right here. Can you see it? I mean, there's just some orange peel. Yeah, that's all it is. It's minor. So he replaced the drawers on the toolbox and these were in his way and he said, hey man, you want these? And I was like, yeah. What is, what is that one drawer retail for? I can't remember if he said it was $500 for both drawers that I got or just this one. But this could be $500 that we're going to be cutting up. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. I mean, you don't have the rest of the toolbox. Right. So what are you supposed to do with it? So I'm thinking from the front of the seat forward. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. In between, we're looking at just seven under and three seven quarters. and three quarters. So 26 uh, inches. Okay. 26 and seven and three quarters. All right. So. Sounds good. Two. Plasma cutter. What do you, yeah? You want me to buy a plasma cutter? I'm gonna buy a plasma cutter. You're gonna buy a plasma cutter? Yeah. Like a new one? Yeah. They're expensive. Mm, yeah. Hey man, did you realize you left the mic off? Did I? No. April Fool's. <laughs> it's June. <laughs> oh. Oh, minute. this is perfect. This is 25 and a half inches, which will be plenty fine okay. for the lengthwise. Then we need two seven and three quarter sections. All right, now the brace is under. No, no. The brace is underneath. We got to make sure they're not in the way. They're not in the way. I am honestly cringing from <laughs> that, that you're cutting up that box. Someone out there is going to be like, I got the chest and I have no drawers. What are you doing? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Looks like it's going to work to me, buddy. Sweet. Um, you want to cut the next one exactly the same or do you want to try to compensate somehow for... Well, steering? we're going to run into problems with this. Right. Small we'll make it as there. long as this. But we'll cut it and we'll run one from here underneath kind of like a skid plate. Okay. Because we don't want to leave this open because it, it leaves a perfect spot for a limb to catch right there and then just go right into us. Yeah. John's cutting out another piece and I'm going to get started on welding in this uh, pan. Looks good, dude. Floor is done. Looks pretty good. Well, you know, people are going to be like, why didn't you weld it all the way up? Well, when we're off road and we want the mud to go somewhere, right? Right. And the water. Yeah, yeah. Water drainage. You know what the best part of making a list is, like? What's that? We can cross them out. Oh, yeah. Right. It's a little warm out there, buddy. It is. Uh, break time. Oh, really? I could use a drink. E-R-A-K. Oh. Okay. 
Now, let me see what we got in the fridge. We got a selection of brakes from Go Power Sports. We have a five inch brake drum with a five inch band. I don't know, I think they also make a four inch one, but five is this what we have. This one is a bit bigger yeah, than what I'm used to. That one's big I think deal. this will fit right on those wheels. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll, I don't think we have enough room. And we also have the mechanical uh, disc brake that we've used a couple times on a couple different things. Again, not enough room. Yeah, yeah, we're probably gonna use the drum uh, because it's got a smaller footprint. It'll fit in a tighter space. I like this. Um, yeah, it's actually... It actually what, has a bit of something? a... Oh, and a lip. A lip to... I've had the worst problems with these bands like walking off. Yeah. Let's run this drum between this and this. Okay. Uh, and we'll just have to make a little... Well, it's not that bolt pattern. It's this one. Maybe. I think it should be. Perfect. Like a glove? Yeah, boy. Ike found three more of these brake drums, the smaller ones. So, and we know we have some bands lying around somewhere, but we think we're gonna use this one. This smaller one's for a lighter duty go-kart because the uh, it just has a smaller contact patch in general, but we're really not concerned about that at all because it's only stopping one uh, one wheel. So it's skinnier and it's smaller, more compact, It'll fit in this space better. So this is better for our application right now. Thankfully, it's uh, also sold by Go Power Sports. So you can find uh, both of these at gopowersports.com. So I'm gonna take this one off, get the new one on. You found all the bands? Yeah, found all the bands. Nice. Yeah. Let's keep these bad boys together. There it is. No wallering required. That looks like um, shifter. I think it's a shifter cable. Yep. Live axle would have been much better for this application. It would have made a lot of things easier though. Yeah. We wouldn't have this whole problem with the camber yeah. uh, bending. Yeah. You know what I'd do for the brakes? Right there in between. Yep. Where we have plenty of room. Disc brake. Yep. And then we'd have two wheels stopping. Cable from the brake pedal yep. to this point. Okay. And then mechanical linkage. Is it snack time? We've been talking about snack time for hours. We oh. have not. 30, I've been talking about <laughs> snack time for hours. Thanks, dog. Sweet, that's done. Not too shabby. It's pretty shabby, never mind. Look at that. All right, now for brake linkage, right? Yeah. We can use this as a pivot point here. Weld a, a, a bolt, kind of, kind of like that. Yeah. Then we can have linkage pulling it kind of up here. Man, that's like hurricane winds. Wow. Ooh, look at it, man. Wow. That's scary. We might lose some trees, man. I wonder if anything is parked under. Oh, what? The boats. Oh, at your buddy's place? Yeah. They're about to get swamped. No, I'm not worried about the water. I'm worried about the wind. The ropes. Oh. Tied off. About to lose power. I think we can make this, what I'm gonna call strut, the whole brake assembly as well. Okay. We could totally use that as like a pivot point too for this end. Ah! <laughs> Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sizzle your fingers? John was just welding on that yeah, thing. just welded that freaking bolt. Oh yeah, right now I would like to make a point that we're not building, we are not building this thing for looks. We're building it just to build it. 
for pavement launches only. For pavement and off-road well, duty we only. Did, well, I mean, like not really, because we didn't we didn't build it for off-road, but we did it anyway. We did it anyways, several times. Oh yes, <laughs> and we're probably not done either. <laughs> So not not for looks. Just wanted to point that out. This is not for looks. You just in case you haven't noticed already now that we're like 10 episodes into this build. Yeah. All right, so I drew out the plan for the brakes uh, to give you guys better understanding for how this whole system is gonna work. It's pretty crude, but it should get the job done. Here's the drum, here's the brake band. When you press the pedal, it's gonna pull this whole piece forward, tightening the band around the brake drum. So I'm gonna say we're gonna do the cable. Yeah, the Go Power Sports cable? Yes. So we didn't do this, we did that. All right, so I am working on the uh, brake linkage up here. So what we're gonna try is just get a bolt, a nut, and two washers, and basically, just sandwich the uh, cable and see if that will be enough to hold it because it doesn't have a barrel nut on the end. Try that or should I just go, go super try. tight? I see it moving back there. For real? Oh, there it is. Sweet. We realized we're gonna have to leave the bushings and paint for the next video because it's five o'clock and uh, it's Father's Day. Just gotta figure out how to hook up this one. Yeah, that one's the cable's just too short. Ooh, what you got going on there, buddy? Oh, coat hanger. My, nice. my coat hanger deal. Double nut it? Yep. All right, we're about ready, aren't we? Yep. The engines are actually synchronized pretty good. Uh, the backs are engaging uh, before the fronts. Could be helping with the torque steer. And tires locked up. I don't know what I was thinking, man. Oh, when you swung it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need mud flaps. Yeah, uh, brake already needs adjustment. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that out. So, so um, we'll, we'll figure but that it, out. it doesn't stop worth a crap out when it's wet. Yeah. But here, where it's dry, it's not pretty good. Bad, yeah. yeah. Um, How are the throttles uh, sync, do you think? You can tell this side pulls Just the first. Fan. Yeah. A little bit of playing with the. Uh, It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This thing goes pretty fast. Yeah. Forgot how fast it was. Yeah. 34 may not sound like much, but whew, it's a lot. What do you think of the floorboards? Oh yeah, they're nice. You like the floorboards? Yeah, real nice. Cool. Yeah, the 415 is not gonna stick to it, but we'll uh, figure that out. It'll stick to all the other stuff. Yeah, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We gotta thank Go Power Sports as always. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out on Isaac. It'll be fine on YouTube. That's right. Um, yeah, it's it's coming along. Yeah, every time I get on it, I'm just like so it, happy. It's getting better and better. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's it was rough in the beginning, uh, but it's getting better. You can feel the. It feels like a spongy brake. It does because that cable is actually flexing. Yeah. So we got brakes but they're just not they need adjustment great. and they're spongy yeah yeah so anyway all that to come thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one